here's video one of a uh, Ingersoll cab that I built. Uh, it started out as a John Deere cab and did some modifications on it. Do a quick walk around, show you the cab. Has a uh, canvas or uh, not a vinyl, but a canvas door. Front solid glass, rear solid glass. The front hinges up to allow access into the hood, has hinges up top here, and then down below there are knobs which are right there and right there. You unscrew those knobs and the whole front will flip up, allowing the hood to come up. Handles on the doors are sliding, so you'll just pull them back and the door will open up. The doors are wrapped in, wrapped in the material and then Velcroed on. Here's how the handle slides, you can see that. And that'll go into a notch which is in the structure of the cab custom rubber mats made inside here's how that handle looks closed there's where the front attaches into the cab it's got a filler section in the back I didn't make that metal, I had in intentions, and I'll put a hydraulic spooler valve back there. So, I don't want that to be in the way. There's your carbon monoxide detector and your rear light bar. There's your front light bar and your defrost. Just a fan with heat. Um, I do like this unit when you turn the heat on. See, it actually has a light down in there that shows you the heat's on versus the fan, so you know if you're on heat or fan. And it also reminds you if the light's on that it's on. Um, going into the cab, you have your control area up top here. This is your main power on. Let me see if I can't get this to like, focus it doesn't want to this is your wiper this is your front LEDs this is your rear LEDs your lighter socket this is gonna be your roof strobes this is your dome light obviously your wiper and then I had to build this this is for the front and rear light bars this will turn them off and on and then this has the modes it has seven modes so you hit the button once you're in mode one two three so on and so forth and again everything all of the accessories in the cab are run off of this one main switch so if you flip this off you don't have to worry about killing your battery um, the only thing that isn't on this if you come down here this is on its own circuit because it draws so much current um, i ran a 20 amp to the switch and into a fuse box which is in there and then that runs all your accessories out um, on this i ran its own separate 20 amp that runs um, it goes up under to the battery. Um, the power is connected for the cab. Down here, I'll show you. I just use a trailer plug, very simple. You can literally just pop it out and then flip that back and pop it back in. Um, and that'll give you power. Hold on, I'm gonna do that. It takes two hands. Okay. And then you have your vent which is up in the cab right here. And you can just twist that and it will raise up or go down. You have your, uh, we're out here, you have your Cree LED lights. Um, 
You have strobes in the center here and here. And then obviously your light bar down below, which is here. And then in the back, you have another light set up. You actually have two strobes here, two strobes here with your Cree LED. And then you have your light bar in the back. So I will have another video showing all the LED lights. Put a uh, highly visible traffic pattern on there. I actually stole that from uh, PennDOT Trucks here in Pennsylvania. Uh, they run this pattern and uh, it is bright, believe it or not. And that is pretty much the cab. Seals up well. Um, it is airtight. As of right now, I ran it for a half an hour, drove it around and parked it, and I'm getting zero uh, on my carbon monoxide meter. Um, very important, make sure if you have a cab, you have a meter. Uh, these do have a front exhaust, and it will get sucked back into the cab. Um, I got it sealed up pretty well. I, I, like I said, I have zero right now, and that was without the vent on. Um, that's it.